Heart Culture community, welcome again to another short interview, um, you know, with the latest projects that are going on, 100% positive programs, educational and also um, relating and rooted in the cultural, um, on the cultural platform, on the cultural stage. So I'm joined, I'm lucky enough and, um, you know, really honoured to meet a really innovative group of people who have been um, basically developing an idea to, um, you know, to, to look at a particular uh, subject, health issue, which is about cancer. So I'd like you to meet Amos. Okay, nice to meet you and thank you for spending the time with Heart Culture today. Hello, um, nice. Brilliant work so far, okay, um, that's been going on. So I'm going to start and go straight to it. The first, the first thing is, you know, how we... Obviously, you're on the project. You're an ex executive producer, okay? And you know that's what that's what the world, the worldwide public, is going to know you about on that stage and bringing this idea to the to the public awareness. How are you bringing aspects of the project together as an executive producer? Okay, What's well, your role in that um, sense? The, my role is basically project managing the whole film, and so on a daily basis, I speak to the different levels of the film and sort of put all the parts together, like a jigsaw. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to put all the parts of the jigsaw together to produce a, a wonderful film. Brilliant. Okay, and what has the journey been like so far? Obviously, working in a powerful team, you've got um, Dio Adenea, who's directing the movie. That's right. You've got also Daniel Matthews, who was the writer, um, you know, for this, for this film. So, you know, what has it been like being in such a powerful um, trio such as that? Um, it's been a wonderful experience. Um, every time we get together, there's a, there are new ideas just regenerating. Mm -hmm. It's just been a very wonderful experience. Dio, who's, who's just full of passion for directing, mm -hmm. always full of ideas, full of creativity. And then you've got Daniel, who loves to write, you love to play with words, and so it's just been a roller coaster, mm -hmm. which is, which is not stopping. Mm -hmm. It just keeps going on. So, you know, at the moment, what kind of stage? Because um, obviously, you know, the launch isn't, the launch hasn't happened yet. That's right. It's coming up, so it's kind of like a work in progress. That's right. So, what are you going to do to make sure that you know these things that you've put in place now, you know, at the start of the project happen? You know, what, what's your kind of, you know, what's your targets in that sense? Okay, um, well, Fundraising wise, you know, ga garnering support, because obviously it's quite, it's quite a new, well, not a new subject in that sense, but, you know, aiming at the ethnic community, maybe people of African heritage, Afro-Caribbean heritage, the subject of cancer is not one of those that has sort of emblazoned on our, you know, um, in our vicinity, in our community, in that sense. That's so, right. you know, it's a big, it is a big task. So, right. so how are you going to make sure that happens? Um, well, the issue is cancer affects us all. Mm. And so we, we've come together as a collective and we decided that instead of just watching films about relationships and about action heroes, mm. why don't we try to educate our community? Yes. Um, yeah. I've been touched by, can my family's been touched by cancer. My mm. dad died. The screenwriter's mum died of cancer. And so mm. it's, there's been a lot of cancer in our midst. And on that basis, we just felt, why don't we educate people on our experiences yes. and see if we can use that to save lives? Because, so essentially, it's, it's one of those films where it's quite personal because obviously the subject matter itself about cancer, you know, um, you've got a direct, first-hand experience of it, so you know the devastation it can cause. That's right. You know, um, should it manifest itself, you know, um, in and amongst people. So, I think that, you know, the last question is um, for you. Again, how can you, you know, what are you doing to garner support that you need? Because it is quite a, a, you know, a big, a big leap of faith. True. You know, in terms of making the film in the first place. True. Um, so, you know, so how can, you know, what can people do or, you know, even as a community, what can we do, um, you know, just to make sure that it, it, go, it travels far, you know? Um, well, what we really want people to do is to log on to the um, website, mm -hmm. www.alaco.co.uk, mm -hmm. um, 
click onto the Facebook page and like the Facebook page mm -hmm. and basically help us to promote this film mm -hmm. and get that support that we need. Mm -hmm. Basically, our people are dying and a lot of them are dying unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. And our plan is to minimize and create as much awareness as possible so that fewer people can die. Um, my dad died because, well, as I, a, I was going to say that because okay. when you say that, you know, the, the community is at danger because, you know, people, people are dying. You know, what is the imminent threat? What is the, you know, what is the, that important step that they can take, as you said, um, you know, to make sure that we can cut down those numbers? Okay, well, to make it personal, my, my dad died of colon cancer. And we went to the hospital and he was told he's got three weeks to live. And if he'd done a simple test that cost £35, mm. it would have been detected and it would have saved his life. Mm. And for us as a family, as a church, that was just devastating because mm. my dad was, a, he was just a, a full-on character mm. and no one would have, we didn't expect it at all. Mm. And so...